Hello everyone, this is Rubel from Pfix channel. So today I'm going to show one interesting thing. <clears throat> so my wife is basically working on this uh, website for one of her clients. Uh, they asked her to update the website so that uh, they can have some information from the sign up page to their database and then they show it as a team member or whatever on their next page so <clears throat> to do that uh, I have uh, uh, searched all of the Wix support and figured out that they don't really support it so the problem is you guys probably who whoever it is that developing using Wix they already know so if you use any form to submit data during the sign up it goes to weeks somewhere and then it generates a mail a mail comes as a notification and then as a member request you basically accept it or decline it or whatever right but the information that came in we really don't store it in anywhere okay so the idea of my uh, this uh, session is to train you guys how to basically store those information uh, on a <coughs> on a systematic database somewhere and then use it later on for all the purpose on every week's website that you are going to make as you can see there is a feature request okay uh, currently it is not possible to save the data that site visitors entered into the custom sign up form to a submission tables this would let you manage the data in the tables with options such as adding or deleting data, filtering data, sorting data and exporting data. So currently they don't have the support of these features. Okay, the hot features. Let me show, show it to you. Uh, so I open this website. Okay, this is uh, one of the website from one of, uh, this is the website from my wife's customer. Uh, as you can see, I will... Uh, So I will try to show it. So why we are we are here? We'll try to get you through all of the uh, things that we want to show. So first of all, what I want to show you uh, the website ready, right? So you can go there, okay? So view site. It's an weak site, you know. So we go there all right and then we sign up we click on the sign up click on the sign up icon we put out whatever whatever information is in right and then we click submit right so this information all of the information needs to be stored somewhere and then you need to iterate through those information and whatever right and use it like to populate whoever joined after approval right so the thing is <coughs> this is the code of this sign up custom sign up sign up page you can see it is basically light box mode enable okay so as the light box mode is enable you can see it's very like you know uh, difficult page to move or like you know go over uh, because it doesn't support many features anyway so how we how i fix this issue okay so i on this page you can see okay this is a lightbox member sign up form uh, lightbox member sign up form basically comes from <coughs> here right okay registration form whatever form you want to put right right and then uh, what do you want to do okay so this sign up form is here we added this sign up form here we updated everything okay so this is a member sign up form now what i want what i want to do i want to store those information such way then i can populate i can create a different page for example this team page 
right with all of the information and whatever okay okay so I want to do this kind of this so it was not possible before this place was dynamic it was not dynamic it's possible now so the database that you are saying this is the database is basically linked with this page the team page I'll show it to you so you can see it has full name photo position short description along the website email okay it has many more phone team name whatever team all all right how i add this page right probably you guys are like so this is uh, i think so this is add a preset right so i went there i selected it there, there you can see the team members right so i basically add this one so it's a dynamic page okay so oh, you basically add this page as a dynamic page you go there make on the dynamic page that is the dynamic collection so dynamic collection is basically this to be now i know i have a database okay I, what is my database name you go there and more action collection settings you can see the database name is stream you can change the database name if you want now that is done there will be some template data in here from the beginning so you guys can look into it later uh, or change it whatever you like now I come up to my sign up page custom sign up page and then I basically add this database okay I basically pull the data set you can add the data set from here you go there is search for the data set This is very tough, right? So adding this, you just add start for it. That's it. That's it. Okay. And here you can see this data set is here. So I basically add the data set from here. Okay. You can use from data set or normal data set. I use the content page element to your content. Okay. So I use this database. I will show it to you how you do it. So I add it. You can see the data set is here, right? Okay, and then settings. Right, choose the collection. You select your collection, whatever you want. So the team up team is if the is the database that I have used for the team page. So I basically cho choose this one, right? Now I'll not have multiple database on this side, so I'll just remove it right so that's how you do the uh, database new database on an, uh, on the sign up place okay and after doing it you basically what do you do adding a database uh, now it is link right so after adding a database team data uh, after adding a database i'll delete it for you i'll show it to let's do it so this database we deleted it right so we add the database here again how do I do it? Search here, add element, data set. Okay, so the database is here, it's unconfirmed. I move it here, I click on it, go to the setting, choose the database, team. So my database is team, team data set, read only it is, it will not be read only, read and write. Okay. And then that's it you don't need to do anything else in here that is done so team database is ready link and is ready now <coughs> I come here this is the code right on the custom code setup so I come here okay I import data from Wix data and then uh, when the form is ready so you can see this from when this form is loaded this function will be called so it is double dot on load on ready function inside function there is a submit button right you can see the submit button so on the submit button i put an id click on it you can see the id is submit button so here yeah. so whenever someone click on the submit button i want to read every information all right uh, the form have the light box mode form has so full name full name also has an ID on it its name you can see email also have the name on it email 
phone number as input 5 password password position company it is it says everything right so then what you do you go here you know, click on the submit button then you read the information from this uh, id so email id on this form you read the below and then you create a <coughs> json structure you can see title email job title short description long description this is basically inside the database okay so it is available inside the database those are the data key so when i click it you can see it's moved back to the uh, team data set function but usually yeah you have, have what we want to see so we are here so for example this is the name right the what you will use on on your code is not this field name is the field key so use the title okay so it's also same for this position okay all right so we select it we see what was written on it you can see the job title is the field key but the position is the field name so on the program this is used in your code and can be changed later okay so you have to use it on your code so you go there all right so we go to the custom sign up so here you can see name email position description and as you know we basically read all of those information from the text on the sign up form and put it on the uh, key db key all of those uh, key name email job title short description long description not the not the field name is basically the field key it's not the field name remember to use the field key not the field name if you use the field name it will not work all right and then you basically put a try catch condition and then you do insert inside your team collection this whole json when it is done it will say it will, it will print the, on the console we will trust it and it will say like executing so let me save the <coughs> form okay it saves now what i'll do i'll just run this uh test site all right so here you go be site and then i go to sign up i write down whatever i want to write On the console, we open it. We'll see it is already executing. It might give you some error because you know I already entered this uh, email address name, so I'll try to name a different name. Okay, uh, because the name is the key name. I do the submit. You can see it's read the information and it's made a noise so it's done it will give you error because uh, this email address is already signed it you can see a member with this email address there is a state credit but the information is supposed to be stored on the database already so i'll show it to you is the information really stored <coughs> let us see here you can see show the authority one unended member and our email address is here so it is done so that's how you guys solve it okay and this is a dynamic page right so i know about this some member put an import c the information that i put set up g1 our entity member all of the information is here it's pretty cool right so as <coughs> we external support these features from the uh, from the whatever the call it is we made a new way to support this feature so light box mode they said they don't support it always right? but there's no way to make it work okay so <clears throat> the way i have shared with you guys so make sure to like and subscribe this video if you subscribe and like my videos i will try to put a few more such uh, cases where i have done uh, fix or bypass those issues. Alright, bye bye. Take care.